It's beer o'clock on Real Craft Beer. Today we've got a can of Sailor's Grave Brewing Company's Winter Farmhouse Ale brewed with or fermented on Shiraz, Les and Rose Bramble. Okay, 5.8% ABV, 500ml can, Australian craft beer. Many thanks to Mick for sending me the beer all the way from Australia. Let's get this can out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the can opening. Shiraz Les, ah, look at this. Ooh, is it the Shiraz grape? I was thinking Shiraz grape. And then, yeah, why not? It's pink. Kind of looks like, dare I say it, a wine. We got a three finger, nearly four finger, slightly pinky head going on. It's a beautiful, beautiful beer to look at. Look at that carbonation rolling up the glass. Looks tremendous. But it still looks like a beer. Although it looks very pink or red to look at, if I roll it round slightly, it is a golden amber colour in there somewhere. Can you see it down here as I'm rocking? Where my little finger is here, as I'm rocking it round, you can just see the golden amber, the, the beer, the malt hanging on for it for dear life with that lovely Shiraz pink colour. Uh, loads of carbonation as well. Look at the carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. Let's get the aroma. And it's quite clear to look at. Aroma. There's something else. I picked up the shot. I talked about the Shiraz for so long that I forgot that there was something else in here. Rose Bramble. So we're going to be picking up, I suppose, floral. Or we supposedly should be picking up floral rose petals with some grape, red grape aroma. Yeah, you get that. There's a little bit of spice in there, maybe from the hops added to the, for the beer. To the beer. And it is quite an impressive aroma of biscuit malt, so it's still fundamentally a big, big beer. It's hanging on to the beer rather than being swung over to wine, wine country. Let's, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, that is so drinkable. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows, what a lovely, refreshing beer. The biscuit malt just rolls on the back of the palate. It just hangs around this little sweet. <sighs> Nicely carbonated. An impressive it's quite impressive is the fact that you still you get that rose petal I've had a few beers in the past one recently actually with rose petals in and it was quite difficult to, to pick it out the rose petal but you get the floral aroma and taste in the beer from the rose petal quite impressive and they've done a few of course, this is their winter farmhouse ale. They've done a few. They've done autumn, summer and spring for the farmhouse beers. Some are... Some are very... Sharp, quite sour. This one is more of a... Traditional ale, I would say, rather than being super sharp or super sour. But 
But here's the here's the real work. All that that lovely sediment was in the bottom of the can. We managed to pour that out now. So maybe we'll get a little bit more sourness coming through. Look how tight, have a look if I wobble it. It's like jelly on a plate. That consistency now from the head is coming from the sediment that's in that glass of beer, that liquid but beneath the head. That extra body in that glass of beer, you can see also the extra body in the head. Isn't that quite fantastic? There's a little bit of yeast floating around now in the bottom of, is it yeast or maybe just a touch of carbonation there staying at the bottom of the, the glass. Let's taste it. That's better. In terms of prickly, sharp, slight sourness, because let's be fair, it is it is named a farmhouse ale, so I was expecting it to be slightly funky, slightly farmhousey. It has now got a slight horse blanket. Don't be alarmed by that. It's very typical for a farmhouse beer to be horse blanket, described as horse blanket. It's got that straw, bales of hay, moist bales of hay, horse blanket aromas to it and tastes. That's much better. Much better. Should we rate it? Sailor's Grave Brewing Company's Winter Farmhouse Ale, 5.8% ABV, brewed with Shiraz, Oz and Rose Bramble. I like it enough to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up, boom and cheers.